Okay, this is a fairly long sequence, so it helps to be able to make the two shorter bits in it. Cassowary number two and beetle nut number five, you'll find them appearing. Begin with the opening A, and the mouth is going to reach over all the strings and take hold of the far little finger string. That's the one there. And then you have a left and the right mouth strings going down to the little fingers. The left index goes over the string nearest to it and under the far mouth string. And the right index finger picks the other string from the left side up and draws it back. Let go from the teeth, just like so. And you've got an upper index loop, let go the thumbs, thumbs from below into little finger loops, draw back the near little finger strings, then into the upper index loops, draw back the upper index strings, hold, and then Navajo, the thumbs. So that means lift off the lower loop over the upper loop on both thumbs. So you're releasing the lower loop by lifting it over the thumbs, dropping it on the other side of the thumbs. Then let go the upper loops of the index string. Draw tight. Indices bend down into the thumb loops from below and lift up the thumb loops to make a, an upper index finger string loop. Thumbs below into little finger loops and then into the upper thumb loops, as be, upper index loops as before. This time don't Navajo, but bring your index fingers over the far upper index loops under the near lower index loops and draw them tight, palms up, and you find a kind of net shape. Now you're going to release, first of all, the middle fingers, and then you're going to release the index fingers. And draw tight. And now you're going to lift the palm string off the thumbs. So you just leave a little finger loop and an index finger loop. Draw tight. Little fingers towards you now into the thumb loops from below, draw away the far thumb strings, indices from above into the little finger loops, draw up the near, little finger loop, palms up, and you'll have four diamonds. Now with the right hand, take the crossing strings on the left palm, lift the left hand free, and return it, little finger through the near loop, thumb through both loops. And again on the other hand, little finger goes away from you into the near loop and the thumb goes away from you into both loops. Extend hands and do a Caroline extension by lifting up the far thumb string and turning palms away from you. You have four diamonds. Let the thumbs come out gently and put them into the end diamonds on both sides. Draw the thumbs back and this time simply release the upper, the, the hold of the index strings. Now you're going to retake the hold of the index strings and open them up and you kind of get a mount in the middle. Now this move is tricky. You're going to move the whole hand this time, holding the strings in place. Move the whole of the left hand in to the right hand strings. So the two near strings stay towards you and the two far strings, that's the far index and the far little finger strings are away from you. Draw them down, keeping them separate, these two last strings and remove your right hand completely. Now the right little finger picks up the nearest to the hand little finger string and the thumb picks up the nearest to you thumb string from the inside or the outside as shown. Now you repeat this move with the other hand. The thumb hand goes in between the strings, two on one side, two on the other. Leave the two loops lying there, the far thumb, far index strings. Thumb comes toward, the little finger goes away from you into the far loop, thumb towards you into the loop. Lift them off. Now we're going to open the beetle nut as we did before, so it's thumbs into little finger loops, draw back the near thumb string, do the Caroline extension, and then twist the hands with the right hand away and the left hand towards you, so you get the three beetle nut shapes. Now lay the left hand strings down, keep the right hand strings in place, and you'll see that there's a, a link in the middle, and then a string just coming down from the link away from you. So the little finger goes under the string that's coming down on the top of that bottom diamond, top far side of the top bank, there's a little finger goes under there, and under the linked string, the double string, the thumb is going to go. So thumb under the two strings under the link, and the little finger under the far top of that bottom diamond. Draw back again, and now lift the design up again, and extend Caroline extension fingers away, and you get two diamonds. Very gently, now, I'm going to turn the two diamonds over on your knees. So you're going to get hold of the back side of the bottom strings. You'll see what's going to happen. 
So we're laying the, the diamonds down on the back side. So you're, we've turned it over, it's on your knee, pushing the knee through the design. Now the bottom parts of the diamonds near the centre, that triangle right near the centre, you're going to release your thumbs and go under that string. So it's a triangle string at the centre. Go under that one, draw it back and extend this design as so. Thumbs into little fingers from below, draw back your thumb string, Caroline extension, turn hands away, and you get this kind of snaky shape with uh, an M. Lay that one down, keep the left hand in place this time. The thumb's going to go under the cross where the snaky design and the end of the M go, and then the little finger under the top of the S far away from you. So these two strings, instead of being linked this time as in beetle knot, they're not just crossing, but if you put your thumb under both of them, and little finger away from you under the top of the snaky bit, and draw it past, Caroline extension again, and you recognize we're in the beginning now of Umaha, which is the cassowary. Navajo, the strings on the um, thumbs, lifting the far thumb string over. Then you're going to roll the index finger loop onto the thumbs, extension again, got the kind of a, maybe a seagull shape, little fingers come out, Go back into the index strings from below, draw out the far index string, and you remove the index fingers, extend. Indices from below into thumb loops, pick up the far thumb string, Caroline extension turning hands away. And now you've got that W with a small loop on top. I'm going to lay this down, release only the thumbs. And the thumbs go under the small W at the top of the design near the centre, so it's the outer arms of the small w at the top of the design uh, are picked up on the back of the thumbs. I'm trying to show it a bit clearer here, but you'll see when we get it. It's a small w. Go back to the cassowary design if you don't get this and you'll see how to do it. Draw it back. And now release all the strings off the indices. So we're going to open up now in slow motion showing the right thumb goes into the right little finger loop, pick up the near little finger string from below. The left finger doesn't do that, but now both left and right indices go into the thumb loops, pick up the far thumb strings and turning hands away, do Caroline extension. And you'll see the cassowary appears, but the hands are reversed. The left hand does the right hand move, right hand left hand move, compared to the earlier cassowary. So this time you release the left thumb and four diamonds begin to move over towards the right hand, the cassowary and the chicks run away that way. And that's the end. If you've managed this far, well done indeed.